Welcome to Reflections. This week we are looking at stepping out. Um, stepping out, it's time for us to get moving. Uh, we did do Let's Get Moving a while back. And yesterday I talked about God having started a good work in you. Now, one of the reasons why we are so hesitant to step out, especially in unfamiliar terrain or um, a new venture, is simply because we are a little afraid. We we are, we are afraid of uncertainty. We don't know exactly what will happen. And so we are a little scared. Um, and sometimes it's also because we, we really don't know what we are supposed to do. Um, we don't have the knowledge. We don't have the wisdom. We don't have the, uh, um, um, the insight. We are, we are short on knowledge. And so we, we, we are not sure. Um, and therefore, we don't want to step out. We don't want to take a chance. We, we don't want to take a risk. However, however, we are people of faith. We are people of faith. We are children of God. And we have a loving father. We have a loving father. I think one thing we all need to understand is God loves us. God is a father. We need to get to a place where we understand the love of God for us. It is a father's lo love. Now I know that there are a lot of horrible fathers in the world today, fathers who abuse their children, fathers who violate their children, fathers who are irresponsible and do not take care of their children. But I'm talking about a good, good, good father, the way a father really should be. God is a good, loving, responsible, compassionate, kind father. He's also a father who has unlimited resources. Our heavenly father is a very, very wealthy father, very, very rich father. He's also very, very powerful. There is nothing that he does not have and there is nothing he cannot do. Now, when you have a father who loves you, who is not limited by wealth, who is not limited by power, then you begin to understand that you really cannot lack anything good because a good father will always provide for his children. Whatever a good father has, he wants his children to have it. Any good thing that he has, he does not withhold his wealth from them. And if you mess with the child of a powerful man, he will deal with you squarely. I think somebody is already um, getting up and shaking themselves and say, wow, you know what? <laughs> I, I have a wonderful, loving, powerful, rich father who has my back. I can do anything. And yes, I want you to know that yes, 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 you can do anything because your father is just all. He's all it. Uh, he's the real deal and the real thing. Um, I believe it's Philippians that says I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So step out. You are backed by unlimited resources, unlimited wealth, unlimited power, love like an ocean, kindness, compassion. You are backed by Heavenly Father. Step out. Step out. You will not crash. You will not fall. You just step out and see what God will do. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Yes, you can. You can do all things through Christ who not only strengthens you, he supplies your need. He has your back. He defends you. He fights your battles. You can do all things. You can face any enemy. That's why David was bold. He said, who is this? He realized that he had a loving father who, if he stepped out, would back him up. Good news to you today. Just step out, confront those things because you can do all things through Christ Jesus. And the God who backed David will back you up big time. 
Again, it's from your Bilano. And bringing you your good news and your hope pill for today on Reflection.